The nav bar includes basic UI behavior, hotkey assignments, and bug report buttons. From left to right, the first is the Hide UI button. This can be helpful if you're using the preview display as your main output and want to hide all controls. If you've hidden the UI, you may temporarily unhide the UI again by hovering over the navbar area at the top of the screen. You may also want to hotkey the Hide UI button for convenience. The Blackout button, when active, will cause all secondary displays to fade to black. Clicking again will fade those displays back in. You may set the fade in and out times and preferences. The Media Manager button will display or hide all panels related to managing the playlist. The Preferences button will open application setup panels. This is where you download video content and set up the other core components of the application like camera assignment, display resolutions, tempo clock source, custom tags, and streaming destinations. The Hotkey Edit button allows mapping of UI controls to MIDI messages or the PC keyboard. This could be a button, knob, slider, or even menu item. When engaged, all assignable controls will be highlighted in green. To create an assignment, click on any green highlighted area and send a MIDI note, MIDI control change, MIDI program change, or click on any PC keyboard key to map it to that control. The Report button allows you to provide feedback to our team when you encounter a bug or have a feature request. We review these daily to help fine-tune existing features and shape the future of VidGem. To the right are the window controls. Minimize and windowed modes are standard, while Always on Top forces VidJam to remain on top of other apps. When used in conjunction with the micro or windowed mode, place VidJam on top of your DJ app, DAW, or mixing software during a performance. This minimizes the space required to operate VidJam to help keep your focus on your musical performance while maintaining control of VidJam's core features when needed.